In our previous video, we learned about adjacent angles and that concept of adjacent angle will be used here in linear pair. In linear pair, two adjacent angles are in such a way that the two non-common arms, two non-common arms are opposite are uh, opposite rays so this angle one that is angle abc and this angle cbd that is angle 2 these two angles are adjacent angles why because we have a common vertex we have this common ray common arm and the two adjust the two non-common arms are on the either side of this common arm that makes these two angles as adjacent angles but it's a special adjacent angle where it's two non-common arms two non-common arms that is ba and bd these two non-common arms are opposite rays they are just opposite to each other in a direction that's what a linear pair is and angle 1 plus angle 2 will be equal to 180 degree in such case. Here is it a are angles 1 and 2 adjacent angles? Yes, angles 1 and 2 are adjacent <coughs> angles because this is common vertex, this is common arm and the two non-common arms that are QS and QP are on the either side of this common arm. So angle 1 and angle 2 are two adjacent angles and since the two non-common arms that is QP and QS are opposite rays. Its QP is going in this direction, QS is going in this direction, in just opposite direction, therefore they are opposite rays and that makes it a linear pair. Therefore angle 1 plus angle 2 even in this case will be equal to 180 degree. Okay. Let's solve this one. Are these two diagrams representing linear pair now you can see that in this case it is 90 degree and this is 85 degree so 90 degree plus 85 degree makes it what makes it only 175 degree yes these two angles that is 90 degree and 85 degree are adjacent angles because we have a common vertex B a common arm BC and two non-common arms that are BD and AB or BA are on the either side of this common arm but these two adjacent angles are not linear pair because of the fact that these two angles the sum of these two angles is not equal to 180 degree and it's due to the reason that the two non-common arms that are BA and BD are not opposite rays and that's being reflected by this angle that is 85 degree. In this case, is this a com adjacent, these two angles that is angle 10 degree and angle 170 degree, are these angles adjacent? Yes, this is a common vertex, this is common arm. The two non-common arms that are BD is on this side and BA is on this side that is the two non-common arms are on the either side of the this common arm that makes it as these two angles as adjacent and angle 170 degree plus angle 10 plus 10 degree makes it 180 degree that is Yes, these two adjacent angles, 10 degree and 170 degree are at 
linear pair. Can two acute angles form a linear pair? Well, we know that acute angles lie between 0 degree to 90 degree. Even if our two acute angles are even at 89 degree, so 89 degree plus 89 degree makes what? 178 degree, right? For linear pair, the sum of two angles should be equal to what? Should be equal to 180 degree. So even if two acute angles are adjacent angles, right? Uh, they are adjacent angles, but if the two acute angles, the, the sum of two acute angles can never be equal to 180 degree, therefore they cannot be uh, linear pair. What about two obtuse angles form a linear? Can two obtuse angles form a linear pair? Well, again, even if two obtuse angles are adjacent, they can't be a linear pair. Reason is. An obtuse angle is always greater than 90 degree and should be less than 180 degree. That's a condition. So if even if both the two, you know, two obtuse angles, even if we take them as 91 degree, let's say they are 91 degree. So 91 degree and 91 degree makes what? We'll make it 182 degree. So there is no way that two obtuse angles, even if we take this small value, that cannot be as equal to 180 degree. That will always be more than 182, 180 degree. And why? Because obtuse angle is always greater than one, greater than 90 degree. That will surely make the sum of two angles, of two obtuse angles as greater than 180 degree. Can two right angles form a linear pair? Of course, yes. And that can be seen from here. This, if we, for that question, if we take this one as 90 degree and this one also as 90 degree, two uh, right angles are adjacent here in this case and since the sum of these two angles are equal to 180 degree, therefore this will be a linear pair. Okay, so that was for the third one.